All right, here we go. Question number 10 from our college algebra homework number one in my lab math. Determine the intervals on which the function is increasing, decreasing, and constant. What I've done is I've taken this graph that they've given us and I copy and pasted it over here so that we can draw on it and give you a technique that hopefully will make this super easy, okay? So the first thing I want to do, I want to draw vertical lines at the transition points. So this point right here would be considered a transition point because the graph goes from increasing, going up, to decreasing, going down, okay? So again, that's a transition point because it's a point where the graph changes what it's doing. Vertical line there, okay? So here's another transition point. Here's another transition point and another transition point. Now once we've got all of those transition points uh, drawn, all the vertical lines drawn at the transition points, the next step is to label at the bottom where they go through the x-axis. So the first line at negative 6, the next line at negative 4, the next line through the x-axis at negative 1, and then the last line went through the x-axis at 0. Next step, we're going to go through and label each section what it is doing. So the first section is increasing, it's going up. The next section is decreasing, it's going down. The next section is constant, it's flat. And the next section, we're increasing. And then finally, we're constant. Big C, we're constant out here. And for the last step, now we're going to go through and label the intervals, okay? All right, so the first interval at negative 6, if you think of this going backwards to minus infinity, this is all increasing, okay? So the first interval of increasing, let's label that down here, increasing is going to be from minus infinity to minus 6. Because it's from starting at negative 6, going back as far as you want to go, back to minus infinity. The next interval of increasing is between negative 1 and 0. And since there is more than one interval of increasing, we need to use the union symbol, okay? The U is the glue that sticks the two pieces together. And that takes care of increasing. Next, we need decreasing. And so we can see that we have an interval of decreasing that is between negative 6 and negative 4. So decreasing negative 6 to negative 4, and there is no other decreasing. Last but not least, we have our intervals of constant, and so we have a constant right in here, and this interval goes from negative 4 to negative 1. We are going to have another interval of constant, and that is going to be from 0 to infinity. Notice that we only use these numbers that we label down here at the bottom. So this last interval of constant starts at 0 and goes forever. That is going to be 0 to infinity. And so that gets all of our intervals. Now we need to put those into my lab math and see if we got them right. Intervals of increasing. It's going to be negative infinity to negative 6. And then the union, which I don't see the union symbol. So we're going to have to come up here and grab it. <coughs> and then negative 1 to 0 and check it. 
Next, intervals where the function is decreasing. Negative 6 to negative 4. And last time we have constant. Negative 4 to negative 1. And the union, more. Click the union. And zero to infinity. And there you go. So I hope all of that was helpful. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those in the comment section below, or you can text me. And thanks for watching.